Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Man, I love having this music in the background. It works so well. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, actually got rubber capes for all three of the characters that can equip it. Bony can't. And as you can see, I only have four DP left, so I literally cut it almost as close as I could. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh, this place is starting to <laughs> creep me out a little. And we're heading on up through the tower. So we're gonna see a few, or pretty much actually just one new enemy here. Uh, this guy here. This is a short circuit zap, and of course he's got this song again, so go figure. <laughs> Alright, not going too well. Thunder Alpha, yeah, as you can probably guess, they have thunder attacks. So there we go. What these guys can also do, though, is I think they can use PK Flash, which can get really annoying. It can make all your party members cry. And, uh, I mean, if the... Well, we'll get into all that later. Who are the electrical dischargers? Now tell me about it. Oh, get away. What's going on here? Oh, holy crap! <laughs> That's not good. Uh, hey, Lucas, are you alright? Hey, you just got struck by lightning, man. Something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas learned PK Flash. Yes, that's pretty much what I was just talking about. Uh, let's see, I think it has a description on here. Uh, PK Flash. Yeah, it causes all enemies to cry. It can also cause strangeness, paralysis, and instant defeat. So I don't know if the, uh, the Short Circuit Zaps variety can actually instantly defeat a character. If it could, that would be really annoying. But I've never had it happen to me before, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was like some sort of modified version that couldn't, but you never know. Okay, it's going. We're almost done with the Thunder Tower here. As you can see, there's a save frog, so we can uh, save our progress here. Which means we obviously are coming up on something big. So, yeah, if you couldn't guess. What do you got to say? Who the hey are you? Actually, I guess it doesn't matter, huh? Just the fact that you were able to come this far is awesome. Which makes you awesome. I think I might be in love. Well, alright, man. Calm down a little bit. Let's go get dinner first or something. My name is Sheep. Don't ask any more than that. I'm trying to seem mysterious is my hobby. All right, whatever you say, man. Uh-oh. We set off an alarm. Suspicious individuals detected inside generator room. Activating defense system. Repeat, activating defense system. All personnel would be nice if you'd evacuate immediately. Oh, that's such a polite alarm. Uh-oh. This isn't good. All right, so this is uh, Mr. Genitor, the boss of the Thunder Tower. All right, so obviously thunder attacks are going to do nothing against it. It's actually going to heal it. Uh, so we definitely don't want to do that. Uh, let's, I'm not going to bother with Flash. Let's go ahead and attack. Uh, you can actually make him cry. Yeah, somehow he can make the machine cry. I don't know how that works, but I've had it work before, so I know it does work. Uh, offense down, and I think I think it has a shield, but uh, I'm going to play it safe anyway and just do the shield snatcher. Oh, it didn't work. Come on, I know it can. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, it doesn't have a shield. Okay, well, two things that didn't work. Awesome. Uh, offense down It's going to help out a lot. Attack with a 1 million volt chop. Yikes. Yeah, what also happens with this is whenever you try to attack it, you receive an electric shock, which also means you can't combo, uh, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's just the way things go. All right, make it think cry. I know you can. All right, and since uh, we don't want to be attacking and taking damage, let's uh, do the saltwater gun. There it goes. I knew you could do it. That's, that's basically what I meant by saving the saltwater gun for the boss here. Because uh, this guy's obviously got more HP than Little Miss Marshmallow did. So I'm both arms all around. Alright, yeah, we got that heal to Lucas just in time there. Alright, what else we got? Might as well just go... I mean, it's just like 20 damage or so. It's not really that bad. Uh, tickle stick and defense down. And do you have any other saltwater guns? No, you do not. Alright, perfect. Uh, sprinting bomb will work. Yeah, 94 wasn't the best. Oh, it stored electricity. Yeah, that means it's charging up for something big here. Alright, good. Brought his defense all the way down. Alright, what's he gonna do? Let's see. Let's get a heal out. Definitely to Boney, because he doesn't have the cape. That's pretty much why I wanted the cape. I think it should protect me pretty well. Uh, let's just actually guard for the turn, just so we can be safe about it, pretty much. I use this discharge zap attack. Oh, wow, yeah. See, look, it did 128 to Boney because he's unprotected. And uh, it did like 20 something to Lucas, Duster, and Kumatora. That rubber cape really helps. And you also may have noticed that since Duster, Kumatora, and, and Boney guarded, their uh, HP actually scrolled down slower. So that's what guarding does here. And it can be useful in certain situations when you know you're going to face a big attack. 
and uh, you, you want to like play it safe and make sure you get all the heals out in time, so that's kind of one of those cases there. I wasn't sure how much damage it would do, because I've never actually bought the rubber cape before, I always just kind of did it without him, so. And you also may notice that now that it's uh, charging his batteries, he does heal himself every turn, but it's not for much, and we can also combo now, uh, which is really good, so. Yeah, yeah, like you can't even hear the beat here. Nah, oh well, whatever. Okay, what's it doing? Charging its battery still. Alright, so we're getting some really good damage in here while it's pretty much incapacitated. Oh yeah, the beat changes there, that's right, I forgot about that. Nice, Freeze is doing pretty good too. Finish charging its batteries. Okay, so it charges up and then stands back up again. And I'm going to uh, PK Love on it actually, because we're not really using the MP that much. Uh, let's see, you have you have a bomb. I don't know if I really want to waste that right now. Uh, running bomb, I guess. And Freeze still works. And I guess you can just take the damage. Although I really shouldn't have, because he's pretty low on HP anyway. 71, yeah, I was weak. Alright. Let's see how much this does. 141, alright, not bad. Uh, Boney needs a heal. Alpha will work. Just go ahead and attack. I don't know, 20 damage isn't really much to take. Alright, hopefully he won't kill Boney before I heal him, but Lucas is going next, so it actually really doesn't matter. Oh, and he missed anyway. I think that's the first time it's actually missed. The crying hasn't really helped out a whole lot, has it? Uh, so you got that. Uh, you know, actually, you could probably afford to be healing some people right about now. Uh, beef jerky to Kumatora. Kumatora doesn't need to heal, so freeze will work. She's almost like the most uh, the most efficient one we have with that freeze, who doesn't take a uh, an electric shock whenever she attacks. You know, so that helps out. Sword electricity. Here we go again. Alright, so we definitely need to get uh, Boney's heal ready. Uh, let's just attack with these guys, because we know it's not going to do hardly any damage, and Boney can guard, because he's going to be taking some heavy damage here. Alright. Oh, his charger was broken. Nice. Cut a break there, huh? And then we killed him right afterwards, so awesome. Alright, so that's Mr. Genitor. It took up quite a lot of time, but really not that hard of a boss, especially if you have the rubber cape. I mean, having done it before without the rubber cape and taking like 120 damage for all characters, and then just doing it now, I would definitely recommend you find the money to buy that, you know? Uh, it helped out so much. Alright, so that was pretty good. Uh-oh, what's happening now? A serious error has occurred in the generator. A serious error has occurred in the generator. All personnel, evacuate immediately. Repeat, it would be nice if you'd evacuate immediately. Oh, there he is. You! How dare you destroy this vital system of ours? Yeah, well, you had it coming to. You destroyed our the vital system of our town, so now we're even, right? Hmm, I guess this is a case of fools like smoke enjoy heights. I'm not sure what that phrase is, actually, but... Wee -hee -hee. There we go. Okay, so we've defeated the uh, the generator, pretty much, so the, I guess that means this thing should be taken out of commission. But I guess we can go ahead up and check, huh? Wee hee hee hee! You pathetic fools! There's nowhere to run now! Wee hee hee hee! Uh oh. Are we cornered? You've been a real thorn in our side, you know that? What's funniest of all is that happiness could have been yours had you simply stayed in Tasmania and lived quietly without a care in the world. Yeah, answer your phone while we're just standing here. Alright, it's all set then? I'll be done here soon, so leave the mother pork ship up on standby up above. The mother pork ship? Thunder Tower is no longer usable, but this is the perfect chance to eliminate the whole lot of you in one fell swoop. It's a bit much for these lousy rats, but our king just loves being flashy, so I've decided that you and Thunder Tower can disappear flashily together. Uh-oh. Ah, that's the mother pork ship. Well, looks like my ride is here. Later days, pals. 
All right, so we're stuck up here on the top of Thunder Tower. Facade's about to make his getaway. We've disabled it, but apparently we're going to uh, both go down together flashily. So I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? I guess we'll have to find out in the next part. So then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.